Hey, Collective, uh, Divine Feminine, you know, I got this downloaded. I mean, this is just completely sad. This just goes to show how, again, and I've said this several times, how important these twin flame unions are. Somebody's divine masculine, I mean, they whole fucking family is stalking the hell up out of you, stalking the hell up out of him. You understand what I'm saying? The, your person is trying to hide the way that they feel about you, divine feminine, and this family is trying to hide the fact that they already fucking know. You understand what I'm saying? It's this one main person in this in your person's family that's been getting tarot readings and shit and been studying you and your masculine's birth chart and all type of shit. This is a person that knew who you guys were to each other before y'all did. This is how strongly invested these people are in y'all life. You understand what I'm saying? I, I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. One of these friends or whoever, I don't know, or it could be somebody that you used to deal with, Divine Feminine, try to convince this person and several other people that you uh, you selling your ass for cash online. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No, you're not spiritual. You is a hoe to go, baby. Just period, point blank. You ain't no motherfucking spiritual person. You ain't no, uh, you ain't, you ain't celibate. You ain't clean. You ain't drug free. You ain't positive. You are a undercover hoe. That's what you is. So, and these people have been trying to convince your person of this as well. I mean, but let me go on back to this though, because that was another download that I had got. But these people, I mean, damn, these people are so focused on you and your masculine's lives that they ain't even paying attention to their own. Like, do y'all take a chance out and wash your ass? Versus paying attention to somebody else's life. I mean, they are absolutely, entirely, and utterly, and completely invested in everything that is you and your person. They wake up, eat, sleep, breathe, shit, think you and your person on how to keep y'all away from each other. They are trying to keep your masculine trapped in his mind. They are trying to keep on convincing your masculine that you is the devil. <laughs> On the mama from Waterboy's voice, okay? <laughs> they really, really are. I mean, it, it's sad. It's really sad, but I just wanted to go ahead and share this download. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it just popped up in my head. And I mean, your person has been trying his best to hide how he feels about you. You know what I'm saying? But these people are doing everything they possibly can to hide the fact that they already know. Somebody's brother. It's one. It's your somebody. It's somebody person. Your your divine masculine's brother is the motherfucking one. That's the one that's been studying all of y'all shit. You understand what I'm saying? The the brother is jealous as fuck because of who you are, divine feminine. This person is jealous as fuck because he know he ain't gonna never. I uh, I've been waiting so long for a love like this. The brother wants you, but he know damn well he ain't got no chance in heaven or hell. You understand what I'm saying? So he's trying to convince his brother that he ain't good enough for you. You know, I, I mean, it, it's it's sad. It's ridiculous. The brother been doing hella black magic on you and your person, too, for a very long time. That's a side note. Uh, hopefully your masculine knows that. You better go ahead and tune in, tap in, and tune on, tap in, and turn on. What, what did Abram Hicks say? I can't even remember how she put it. But he better go ahead and tune in because that brother been doing the shit. Anyway, love and life. Say it.